Hello, morning. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to uh, something quite different today. We're fishing a four, the Drumo four day species event. We're on a day two. We had a fairly embarrassing eight species yesterday. Yeah, but Gary came up trumps and caught the biggest nominated species, which was the Thornback race. So apparently we've won a prize, which is a good result. So today we're off Port Logan, um, and the first thing we're doing, it's quite a bizarre way of fishing, we're actually in three feet of water, and we're going for a turbot first and maybe a flounder, so we're just pretty much casting tiny hooks, tiny bits of mackerel towards the shore, um, and just gently bringing them back in the hope that we can get a turbot, and then we'll head out and try for a pollock, because we fancy that, don't we? That's a nominated species today. Yeah, we do, yeah. Sorry, I thought I had a little rattle there. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. yeah, so that's the plan, yeah. So, yeah, there's a few species to have on this side, isn't it? We're going to have to try and have a better, try and be a bit more successful today. But it's a grand day, isn't it? To oh, get out on the boat. Really, really nice. Couldn't be better. No. So, yeah, we've got wire and that big pollock prize, haven't we? We really? have, yeah. yeah. We've, got, we've got quite a simple, uh, simple logic that we're applying to this. We've got four days. So if we can get eight species a day, that'll have 32 species. Somehow, I don't think it's going to work like that. There's some boats that have already got 16, 17 species, so they're well ahead of us, but it's all a bit of a learning curve for us. It this, is, isn't it? it it's, is. uh, it's more just about having some fun, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So hopefully we'll come back here with a, a different range of species and we'll cut in some of the pictures we took yesterday with different, mm. different species. So yeah, all good fun. Very, very different way of boat fishing, but we'll see what we can do. Yeah, absolutely. So, first drop, we're on the money, double shot turbot, very small obviously, but size does not count size, in this competition. Size for once does not matter. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got pictures, we've got a picture with the, uh, the card, we've got to get a picture of holding them, so we'll just get this fella back. There he is, a little rocker. Right. So, second cast, another little double shot. Morning sun, lovely little flatties. That's now four we've had in about ten minutes, so we need something different. Well, second species to wear, nice tub gurnard. It's actually a nominated species as well, so We'll get him on the measure, get him registered. But he's a he's a nice one. Well, I was put some hot eyes down thinking I might pick up a huss. I did hope to get a cord, but certainly not one this size. That's 57 centimetres. That's the best Irish sea cod I've had. And hopefully that'll uh, put in contention for one of the nominated species as well. So really happy with that. Yeah, let's get Good him fish. back. Yeah, and he's away. Straight down. Very pleased with that. Indeed. Nice one. He's cracking visibility. That's the 12th or 13th species, We've just come really close in. Had a couple hours further out trying for shark species, nothing. So we're just back to small gear, small balance, so it's another species. We'll get in the back. Well, it's a first for me, an octopus clinging onto a random stone. <laughs> uh, it's just nipped on there, there. So yeah, little octopus. A roctopus. A roctopus. But uh, what amazing creatures they are, yeah? Wow, look at that. Yeah, Not every fantastic. Day. We'll get this fella straight back, yeah? Right, well, from close in, stuck a mackerel head. Stuck a mackerel head close into the rocks in the hope of a conga. And it didn't take long. I heard one bite. Bang, it was on. It's not a big, it's not a bad conger. Would be considered a strap, probably five, six pounds, but still very, 
It's a very powerful fish nonetheless, so yeah, we'll get him back and put him out of his misery. Right, he's watch the move back. Straight to the depths. Gone. Good fish, that. Well, I'm happy with that. It's a little species. Yep, yeah, well, there's another little species, a um, little flounder, which is one of the species we're, we're waiting for to get, really. Um, strange way of fishing. We're in a boat and literally come into a harbour, into a sandy harbour, and we're literally, I was casting it almost knee deep of water back to the beach, and, uh, and the flounder must have just been sitting there to pick it up. Species is species, another one ticked off. Yep, we're just going to keep going and see how many we can get now. But, um, yep, there we go, get this one there. Uh, get this one hooked, I'll get it back. Yep. Well, we're down to the last 35 minutes of day two. I think we've done pretty well species wise, actually. Yeah, we've had turbot, flounder, tub gurnard, cod, pollock, conger. I'm sure we've had another one, I can't quite remember. Oh yeah, Ballon Ross. Just pulled up in Port Logan. Just to see if we can pick up a place. You never know, there's a few others. Try and close the beach. It's absolutely cracking evening yet again. Forecast this week was really, really good. There's a couple of banker species that we still haven't managed to catch, like Huss and Lawns, but we've got two days left, so hopefully, We'll pick those up as well. I'm hoping you can see this. It's just tiny. That's probably too much glare, but using tiny little 16 size hooks, just pulling a small rig along the bottom and it's just millions of them. It's fascinating to watch. That's different. Right, well, we've managed to get another species which is in about two foot of water. I don't know if you can see this. It's a tiny, tiny little sand gobi. Very, very pretty fish. Probably can barely see that, but we'll get him back. It's another one for the list. Right, so we're just <clears throat> come down to the next mark. We didn't get any bass, unfortunately. We tried at a wreck for a pout and a poor cod. Got a codlin white and endless mackerel. So we've come right tight in for the rasp species that we haven't got. We've got the ballon and the cork wing but we need a cuckoo rock cook and gold sinny. So the rigs we're using are just a combination of small sabigis and just three hook rigs with very very small size 8 to 10 hooks all tied with fluorocarbon and a little bit of rag just dropping that down the side and I've got these I think these are sakuma kind of rig stops instead of stop knots got a little bit of tension you can just position them where you want so they're quite quite handy so we're just trying to get as tight into the rock as we can hopefully pick these species up and then get on my way and there we have a stunning little cuckoo rasp absolutely beautiful looking fish that let's get him back yeah let's get this little fella back Tiny little cuckoo, absolutely beautiful fish. Really, really nice. Of course, it's getting a knot there. We better get this, uh, yeah. get this fella back. <laughs> there he is, lovely. So just come in, incredibly close to the shore. We've managed to pick up another species, a tiny little blenny. Minuscule, but that's okay, that's all it count when it's a species hunt sort of thing used to catch down a pier wall as a cave but that's three species we've had to do we just need a couple more wrasse and we're going to try and head out and uh, 
to get some spurs and put some torque on. Little species, very, very pretty little fish, got a nice pointy dorsal, lovely colours on it. I don't know why I've got that. <laughs> I think I'm in the competition. But the colours on the tail are absolutely beautiful when it's in the water. But anyway, it's only a little fella, so we'll get him back. Yeah. Anybody that's been down the mull before, this will not be anything particularly surprising, but on a calm day like the day when you've got quite a big tide running, just listen to that power, that tide just racing around the bottom of the mull there. We're just sat in a bit of a kind of calm area, looking for a coolie, but it's just, it's an incredible thing to see. It's almost like the water on that side is sitting higher than this calmer water. Right, managed very quickly to knock another species off thanks to, I think it was Jay, so fantastic knowledge. Got that Coley straight away. Why am I holding this yet again? I know. <laughs> anyway, Coley, all the north east sides I've seen, but I'll tell you what, I've never been so pleased to catch one. Get them back. Bang, right. <laughs> Can I just say you're still you're still holding your um... and I'm still doing this and I don't know why I keep doing <laughs> doing that anyway never been quite so pleased to catch a lawn so when all these different species mean something it puts a totally different spin on it so happy with that we just need a few more mackerel and we're going to try and go out and get a spur and uh, a tope so happy with that. So final morning. Got the lawn straight away as you saw before. We've come right offshore now. We're in a couple of hundred foot of water trying for a spur dog. It's safe to say there's a bit of a lift on. It's quite a lot of the depth change down there is huge, so there's a lot of turbulence on the surface here. And we've got a bit of an easterly as well, so it's not really for the faint heart of this, but we're having to use about a pound and a half of lead to uh, fish and we're just using three hook. Muppet and hot eye rigs baited with mackerel just hoping to hit a spur so fingers crossed. Well there we have it. Oh god we've worked for this haven't we? <laughs> I feel like we've steamed to the other side of the world to come out at a really deep water mark, slog through some waves, the target species was a spur, we've, we've drifted over some marks here, nothing, we're like, oh no, you know is there any here but because there's normally a meal that marked this but then bang two rods went together so we've just landed into a little pack we're getting one, it's not the biggest fish, it's not the biggest spur dog anyway, it's not the point, it's just a species camp, we've got to get this one ticked off, get the boat started, get back in shore, get some more species on board, let's get this one back.
Well, that brings us to the end of what's been an absolutely cracking week. Oh, no, has it not? Weather-wise, it couldn't have asked for a better week. Oh, it's, it's been phenomenal. It's been absolutely incredible. It's now, is it Thursday? Mm. And we've had just pretty much high pressure, very light winds. There's a little bit of an easterly yesterday, but it's just been, we couldn't have had a better week for a four-day boat comp. It's been incredible. Especially considering it's September as well, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, what's the date? 19th of September, <laughs> yeah. It's just could have gone totally the other way, but just amazing. We just stood on the end of the mull here. You can see the scares, Sierra Isabel, right over to Poro Head, Port William see the Isle of Man through the mist. I don't know if you can pick that up, but you can hear the, the rip of the tides. The tides at the minute are the, the biggest of the month, so it's even on a fairly flat day, it's absolutely savage ripping around the bottom of the mole here. But fishing-wise, it's been an interesting learning curve. It has, it has. I think I've learned more about fishing this week than I've ever. It's, mm. it's just so much attention to detail on a species comp. Mm -hmm. particularly going for micro fish something that big mm -hmm. which the all count it's not just about something this big it's that big also counts yeah and the tactics to try and capture these we've, we've done a lot of listening this week with some oh. very 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 talented anglers yeah boat anglers on this comp uh, it's been magical really i've yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed it yeah. really really good it's it's been really really good it's i mean when you think a month ago the fish species <laughs> come yeah <laughs> I think we had a, it was just a calamity from the start and we are racked up about six species. Yeah. Uh -oh. We've managed to finish the week on 21 and we've had quite a few micro species. We didn't get all the wrasse, still missing the gold sinny and a rock coop. Um, yeah. But we've had blennies, gobies, port wing wrasse, ballon, uh, all of the flatfish species other than a place. We yeah. didn't get a huss, which is usually a bit of a banker for around here. But So we're hoping next time maybe target 25 yeah i think i think we've i think we've got the the ammunition now to to, to put it into action yeah, yeah definitely yeah. things we've done i know I, we wouldn't do again listening to the guys you know how you just got to plan your day and target set points of the tide yeah. and if you don't get that fish move on don't languish on marks which i think we were very guilty of yeah 100 <laughs> so yeah so but yeah it's been what a learning curve and like what a fantastic experience it's been oh, wonderful really it's, it's yeah. just been fabulous just been one of those weeks where the weather's made it we've, we've learned a lot fishing wise mm. we've, we've caught a yeah. few fish we've got a conga as well that was nice to see that was a big good bonus that uh, yeah, it's good to see that yeah we've got a flounder dab small turbot mm. um so it's been brilliant and huge shout out and massive thanks to Jane and Russ who've run the competition yep. they've also been incredibly helpful oh, with, with dishing yeah. out knowledge information marks just just really really yeah. helpful I mean it's fair to say with a lot of that sort of stuff we couldn't have done it without them no so Jay no. Russ uh, Terry has been very very helpful giving us rigs marks mm. advice um, James as well Stuart who from their mark staff last night in the pub just yeah. really really helpful with yeah. with sharing information um and just nice people to be around in oh, company weren't there we yeah, had we had a yeah. good chat and a few drinks last night which <laughs> obviously got a little bit messy but uh, we, did, yeah, uh, we had a good laugh it was a we, it really just rounded off the comp didn't it we really brilliant. really just yeah uh, it was, it was <laughs> messy absolutely great but brilliant uh, good fun really good so it's half four we've got the prize given it's half seven tonight yeah safe to say well, we know we're getting one prize actually, because yeah. each day there's the six nominated species, um, and each day there's a nominated species. So the biggest of that day picks up a prize, and you've got the thorny. Yeah, first I got the day of the comp. Yep. So um, there is some money to collect tonight. Yeah. Just right behind the bar with it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that was that was good. So yeah, it's, as we say, it's just just been mm. really, really amazing week. Oh, um, fabulous. Isn't it? Spend it in a place like this when the weather's good. It's just there's, there's just nowhere better, is that? Brilliant. Yeah. So we've got today off, tomorrow off, and then we're fishing the Mogsaf Bass Comp uh, on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. So hopefully, apparently, the 63 registered the last time we saw Stuart a couple hours ago. So it's going to take some winning, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Um, Conditions-wise, looking at the forecast, yeah, we're going to have to dig deep. I think. 
Um, but yeah, we'll see how we get on. It's just another element of a total different approach to a total different type of fishing, isn't it? Yeah. But it's that's what fishing's all about for me. I just love it. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. But uh, we definitely need these two days to reach out. <laughs> yeah. Because it's it's tiring. It, it is. is tiring. The long days, but very very enjoyable. Yeah. But tiring. Yeah. That's that third and fourth day consecutive day on the boat. Even when the weather's good, mm -hmm. you feel the creaks when you get up to yeah. your joints and everything. Um, early start, but long days. We're fishing from eight or six, you're out 10 hours, but just brilliant, really, really good. So anyway, as always, hopefully you've enjoyed um, seeing the species mm -hmm. we've caught. It hasn't, it hasn't been sort of a lot of filming in terms of getting bites and all that. It's just been too hectic, but hopefully you enjoy seeing what we've caught and a little bit of the yep. scenery from around here. So as always, thanks very much for watching. Tight lines, keep fishing. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.